Baby, it's the skin for me. It's the skin for me. Do you see my melanin glowing freely? What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nima. So today's video is gonna be all about skincare. I've got a huge, I mean huge skincare haul for you guys today. Wish you guys could see my table. Wait, you guys actually can. We love a cute new angle. I'm so glad that you guys can see my table. Last time I did this was um, with my nails when I did my nails for you guys. I wanted to do that again, but I didn't know if I could sustain it with 4K energy, 4K life. So today I am going to be showing you guys all these products that I have here. We got a little bit of JLo Beauty, got a bunch of skincare. Most of these products I bought myself except for JLo Beauty. I think that came in PR. Well, that did come in PR. Everything else I bought myself. And I've also got a cute little surprise for you guys today. I actually created this kit with Tula. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a little bit about that today. Um, so let's go ahead and jump straight into skincare. It's Sunday, so I'm like, skincare Sunday, I'm filming this video on a Sunday, so let's go ahead and jump straight in. I have the biggest pimple on my chin right here. Look how big it is, like, it's like, well, it's not that big. It's really just like, hi. But anyways, um, so we're gonna go ahead and jump straight in. A lot of these products I've actually been wanting to try. A lot of them I've already tried and I've actually really enjoyed them. So I wanted to share those with you guys today. I created this kit with Tula called the You Do You, cause it's like, dewy skin, you know, guys, get it, get it, get it. But yeah, that's what my kit is called because I have dry skin, so my main skin concern is always hydration, always making sure I get hydrated. The first thing I have in my kit was one of my first Tula products that I ever tried, which is the Do Your Thing Oil-Free Gel Cream. I absolutely love this thing, you guys. Love it, love it. A lot of people that have oily skin really say that they love this too. Usually I pack on like really heavy moisturizers, especially at nighttime, because I find that other moisturizers don't really like hydrate my, like lightweight moisturizers don't hydrate my skin enough. This one absolutely does. It's an oil-free gel cream. It's literally like a drink of water for your skin. I absolutely love it. It just literally glides on like water. It's so nice. I love it. So that is the number one thing in my kit. And then the other one is a cooling and brightening eye balm. It is the Glow and Get It eye balm. I love, you guys have heard me talk about puffy eyes before. I have really puffy eyes and this helps with like cooling it. Even right now, it feels so good. <laughs> My eyes are still really puffy for some reason. The main thing I really love about this partnership is that there's other kits in here that have like really amazing women and they have a really amazing stories. They picked really different people with really different skin concerns and they were able to, we were all able to like pick our own kit out of all of them. I wanted to include them in this video because like I said, it's a huge skincare haul and why not include the one big thing that launched this month for me, which was my tool, my kit with Tula. You can find the kit on Tula, obviously, tula.com. If you use code NEMA, you get 20% off, which is nice. So I'll go ahead and have everything down below for you guys for that. My most favorite part of this collaboration is that I got to choose five smaller influencers that work in this industry that I love to follow and love to like keep up with their content. I got to choose five of them for Tula to look at and actually work with on a paid capacity, which is amazing. Part of their Pay It Forward um, initiative, which I think is really, really important to me because when I hit a million subscribers, that was the one thing I really wanted to do. I didn't wanna just like hit a million subscribers on here and kind of just like not do anything to really like truly benefit the community. So when I hit a million subscribers, my I give away um, so to speak was I gave away a filming starter kit it was a brand new camera a new lens and something else I really can't remember the other thing but I gave away like a full like starter kit to an up-and-coming influencer and then the other one was like a cash like gift card to an influencer that's already kind of like almost like mid-tier I think I guess I was looking for someone mid-tier that was like on their way up like really like about to like be on that brink I've been there where I just needed to pay rent <laughs> like that's what I just needed to do you know it was really amazing it was something that really meant a lot to me um, and that was my the best way that I thought I could give back and give give away still to this day those people that won those um, giveaways have reached out to me and told me like how important and how much it meant to them to feel seen and feel like someone was there thinking about them and like giving back in that set in that way so it's it was really really important for me and when Tula told me that they were doing this as well I was just like yes that's all you needed to tell me like I am there for that 
kits, you know? It's a really special partnership. There's five different kits, so if you guys like them, go ahead and check them out. You can use code NEMA, not only just with my kit, you can use it with other pe the other kits if you have different skin concerns. You don't have to just use my kit if you have like acne prone skin and you need an acne kit. If you need like vitamin C or like brightening and everything, there's kit, all those kits are there. Go ahead, check it out, use code NEMA. It doesn't matter where you use it. Obviously, clearly you guys see how much it means to me. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So the next thing we've got, I got the Dermalogica <laughs> Neck Fit Contour Serum. I think it said it's like supposed to be like a workout for your neck. I actually opened this as soon as I got it because I was really excited, really excited about it. I mean, I don't know if it's like really doing anything, but I saw it and I thought it was really cool. Pretty much what it is, it's like a serum for your neck. So you just kind of like push it and let the serum juices come out like that. And then you just roll it all over your neck. It's supposed to be like a workout for your neck, but like, how do you work out your neck? Like, oh, whoa, that was weird. <laughs> I just thought it looked really cool and I really wanted to try it. Um, it says it's a firming serum. This firming serum is skincare workout for your neck and decolletage. Decolletage or decollete? I don't know. So I bought this one from Dermalogica.com. Next thing I got was this. This was actually sent to me in PR. I just got it. And the reason why I wanted to try it is because it's supposed to be a face and body enzyme scrub from Wishful. And I actually like Wishful. This is Huda Beauty's um, skincare brand. And I actually like Wishful because I like their um, makeup remover. That's what I use in the morning when after I go on my workouts and my hike to remove my SPF. It has like a, a clean scent, so it doesn't smell crazy. I love scents though. Like I wanted to have like a fruity scent for some reason. So let's see what it's supposed to do. Apply a generous amount on clean, dry skin. Gently massage, and, okay, I'm not gonna do all that. Pineapple, papaya enzyme, and it's got AHA and BHA, which hazel and charcoal. Interesting. Purifies, detoxifies, absorbs excess oil, unclogs pores and ingrown hair, smoothing and evening. Let's see, let's try it on the back of the hand. Oh, it is like charcoaly. It's not um, grainy. It's not too grainy at all. Have you guys tried those like peels? where it says like it's like removing or like taking dead skin cells away. It's supposed to look like your skin. That's what this feels like and that's what this looks like to me. Definitely that vibe for me. Interesting. I like that you can use it all over your body though because usually all the other ones were like just face. So the next one I bought actually was this. This I actually saw on Jackie. It's the Lip Wonder Drops and I, <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> I've tried it like probably like two or three times. Clean lips and contour area while, until it absorbs. It says it can be used daily. It doesn't taste bad. So that was my biggest thing was I don't want anything on my lips that's gonna taste like chemicals. Cause I lick my lips. Everyone licks their lips. I just don't want any, I don't want anything on my lips that's gonna taste like chemicals. But this doesn't taste bad. It's also not super runny, which I like. See like it doesn't drip down. But I don't know if I really seen my lips be exfoliated yet. It's interesting. I just. Is definitely influenced by Jackie to buy these because she raves about them. I don't know. I'm gonna give them a chance. I'm gonna keep using them. Maybe I'm just like overly expecting something from it. I'm not sure. <laughs> so we'll see. Honestly, I'm just playing with skincare on camera, you guys. That's literally all I'm doing is just trying, testing, seeing if I'm gonna like something, if I'm not. Because I haven't tried any of JLo Beauty. Like I haven't opened any of it. And I've had it for a couple weeks now. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I bought was SkinCeuticals. I love this brand. I obviously love this brand. This is my second one of this, the Retexturizing Activator. I love this, you guys. Such a good serum. Hella, hella expensive. Like, it is honestly, truly so good. Definitely worth the hype. Um, this is my second one of these as well. I actually did a collaboration with them last year with the HA Intensifier, and that's how I found out about them, which I love. So these two are already a go for me. I love that. This is new. This is the Retinol. It's supposed to be a refining nighttime cream with 0.3% pure retinol. I don't know if that's different to other serums or products with retinol in them. I have to double check all the other products that I have at home with retinol in them, but I'll see if it's like a bigger amount. And then there's another one here, which is the antioxidant lip repair, which is kind of the same thing as the fresh sugar wonder drops. Okay, let's see if this is watery, like um, the fresh one, because the fresh one is not watery. The fresh one actually is like thick, thick. Why'd I say it like that? <laughs> She's thick, okay? 
TH thick. This is the fresh one. And you see how like it didn't, like it's not budging, it's not moving. I hope that's the same because imagine trying to squeeze, it's like trying to put water on your lips. I also, hopefully it doesn't taste nasty. Oh, okay. That's definitely not gonna run. So that's good. <laughs> Oh, this feels like a bomb, almost. This is more creamy and this is more, okay. Oh, help, said help. Okay, this is creamy, which is not bad. I'm gonna be really nasty. You guys are gonna judge me right now, but I'm gonna lick this, because I need to know if it has taste. I don't like that. It doesn't taste Terrible. Ugh, no, I just can't. I can't. I'm very picky about like lip balms that have too much taste. You guys know when it, you have that one of those lip balms and it just like coats your entire tongue. No, I hate it. I hate it. And this is definitely one of those things that it definitely, even just that little lick coated my tongue. So I don't like this. The fresh one definitely doesn't do that. Um, so I'll probably stick with the fresh one because I just hate, no, 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 no. I hate that tasting weird. This one. I actually saw on an influencer as well. They influenced me to buy this one because I really want to try it. I have not tried this serum at all. So I actually am excited to try it. Enhances protection against environmental damage caused by free radicals, improves signs of aging, and photo damage such as appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, loss of firmness while brightening skin complexion. It sounds really good. Um, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna add this slowly into my routine. I'm actually excited to try another SkinCeuticals product. So now we got JLo Beauty. I feel like a lot of people have been asking me about JLo Beauty as well. So, limitless glow in a multitasking mask. It tightens, plumps, and radiate. I think it's a sheet mask. Is it a dry sheet mask? I really wanna open this, but since I only have one, I wanna save it so um, for when I can actually really like try it and really enjoy it because right now I already have product on my face. I would think you're supposed to apply this before you, yep, apply to dry skin. I'm gonna save this, but this is nice. It looks really nice. It feels juicy inside, so that's good. <laughs> I wonder if JLo is available on Sephora. Let's see. No, I think it's at Ulta. You no know, Ultens for always competing. Oh, never mind, it's there. The Limitless Glow Sheet Mask. They have a price range from 18 to $48, which is pricey for a sheet mask, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, three masks is $48, 18 is one mask, which is still kind of pricey. I mean, I love me a good um, Hydro Boost um, sheet mask. That's one of my, or not sheet mask, the jelly mask. That's one of my favorite masks, so I don't know. So this is the JLo Beauty Eye Cream. I like the packaging though, I'm not gonna lie. I really do like the packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging. The eye cream feels nice. It feels like, it feels pretty thick. It feels like it's gonna be pretty hydrating. We're very smoothing. It definitely looks like it's very smoothing. It doesn't smell like anything. There's really no like heavy scent on it. The big screen, which is a moisturizer with SPF 30, it's $54. Pretty good size, like it's pretty big. Let's see if it has any crazy like cast or anything. I'm just like putting everything on one this one hand. Blending out, not too bad. Wait. Looks like it's fully blending in, so it doesn't look like it's gonna leave anything crazy. Like the slightest amount of blue that I see there. And I really didn't use that much on my hand. So, I don't know. I'm thinking if you overdo it and put too much, let me see. So like two hands worth. This is like a small area to put it on, but I just wanna see like if you accidentally overdo it, because sometimes if you overdo it, it's hard to get that thing to go away. <laughs> yeah, it's got the slightest, it kind of reminds me of like the Biosan sunscreen where it has that the little bit of like blue. It could be a lot worse, to be honest. I've definitely seen a lot worse. So I, I, I definitely don't think it's bad. Also, it's really glowy. Like that glow though, it's really nice and glowy. The Wonder Miracle Cream. This one is also $58. Oh, she looks like she's gonna be thick. <laughs> like really thick, let's see. You definitely have to like scoop her out with your finger. You can't just like slide over her like that. She's a scooper. 
interesting. It's like mousse. It doesn't smell like anything. It feels really nice though. It feels like really like rich. That's what it's looking like. I, I kind of, ooh, this might be nice. Hold up. Feels really good on the body. I would love to see this as like a body moisturizer. That feels really good on the body. Cause some moisturizers like really don't sink in deep enough. And then like, I love me a good shea butter moisturizer, but shea butter, it's almost like um, when you do like the, or the lock method or whatever that method is for your hair where you seal everything in with the oils. That's what shea butter does, but you don't really get much hydration from it. You get like sealant, like it'll keep the moisture in. Does that make sense? This feels really good on the skin. I wonder what it would feel like on the face, but I already have product on, so I'm not gonna like mess it up. It doesn't feel too greasy. It's definitely soaking in a little bit more, so that's nice. I don't hate the scent, but like I said, it's very thick, like moussey. We've got the cream cleanser. I can't really even try the, clean, the cleanser because I'm not gonna cleanse my face right now, but it doesn't smell bad. It smells like regular, like clean chemical smell. Oh, it's got like a shim to it. It's got a cute little shimmer to it. It's like purple. Got something in there. Interesting. I mean, you really can't like tell how a cleanser is gonna work without cleansing your face, so. <laughs> But yeah, you see like it's got like a little pearl to it, which is interesting. Last but not least, we've got some bronzing products. Um, it's supposed to be a complexion booster. Highlight, bronze, and diffuse. See outer box here, start for warning. There's pink champagne, there's rose gold, rich bronze, and warm bronze. This is pink champagne. It's giving me kind of ashy. You're supposed to put this on your face. It's a little too icy for my body. Definitely wouldn't use pink champagne, so that's good to know. Let's try some rose gold, which is always nice. Rose gold isn't too bad. Still probably a little too icy for me, but it's not bad. So we've got two more shades here. There's rich bronze, warm bronze, Rich bronze looks like it's also like a rose gold color. Looks like just a deeper rose gold. So let's try that. Oh, that's really red. I'm gonna decide which one of these I wanna put on my face though. So let's try warm bronze. Okay, yeah. I don't know about this one. It's probably because it's also really golden looking. It's definitely, golden is just definitely not my undertone. So I think I'm gonna do the rich bronze on the face because I think that's how you're supposed to use it. Let's do a little bit of rich bronze on the face. No, don't do that. You're supposed to look cute. It's a little more drying than I would like it to be. It's a little more drying, a little bit more streaky than I would like it to be but um, I think this is supposed to go underneath makeup. I wouldn't wear this without makeup, definitely, because it's just a tad bit streakier than I'd like it to be, balling up a little bit in certain places. I don't know, I probably wouldn't use that on its own. Alrighty guys, so that is pretty much everything that I bought recently and things that I've gone in PR that I know a few of you guys wanted to see, like JLo Beauty. I really hope you guys check out the Tula kit that I created with them. I really love it and I love the initiative behind it and I think it's amazing. Tula also just as a brand is pretty dope. They have a really cool backstory, which I didn't know about until recently. Go ahead, check it out. Like I said, use code NEMA, you get 20% off. This was honestly really just me hanging out and um, showing you guys all the new skincare that I recently just bought. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed. YouTube is not playing games. Like they are unsubscribing people. They are not sending out notifications. So make sure you are subscribed. Turn on your notifications, join the family. Let me know down below if you tried anything new, anything that you guys would like me to follow up on. Um, you know, I didn't get a chance to try the mask, so if you guys would like me to follow up on that, let me know. I can do a quick little follow up on Instagram stories. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love, and I will see you guys 